Yo, what's going on boys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another stay tuned video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the updated wild style grenade launcher. We're going to be taking a look at what are the best perks we can get on this weapon, what are the best ones we should be looking for if we're looking for a card roll, and afterwards we're going to have a mini review where we just kind of talk about the weapon. So what's new about the wild style now that it's going to make it worthwhile? Well, it's mostly just those updated perks. It's no secret that the old wild style and the old perks that it used to have uh, pretty much sucked. There wasn't really too many combinations that made it super great. You pretty much just used it if you wanted to use a grenade launcher with incandescent. And that was pretty much it. But now Bungie gave it some new perks this season, which gave it one of the biggest glow ups I've seen in a while. We went from having nothing but pretty bad perks to some pretty good perks. And I think this is going to be the grenade launcher some people are really going to like. Especially pairing this up with some weapon swapping. This is going to be amazing for that. But let's not waste any more time, let's get into it. And first, let's talk about how to actually get this weapon. You're going to be getting this weapon from the Nifles or the Grandmaster Nifles. If you go on the Nifle route, the higher difficulty you go on the Nifles, the more likely it is to drop. And if you do a Grandmaster Nifle, then as long as you kill the champions, it's guaranteed to drop to that depth one. Considering the strike that it is this week, I would definitely say that you should go for the Grandmaster. It's not too bad. And if you guys are looking for a build, I will have a build video uh, out later today or tomorrow after this video. The wild style is a double fire grenade launcher, meaning that it fires two rounds. It's the second ever double fire grenade launcher, and the stats on it are pretty good. You actually have a lot of velocity on this thing. It comes with 90 base velocity, so hitting max velocity on this thing is going to be pretty easy. This thing actually comes with three different origin traits. Banger Vindication, meaning that weapon kills give us HP. Stun Recovery, if we stun a champion with this weapon, it partially refills our magazine and also triggers health regen. And lastly, we have Pets Balance Stock, whenever we do some damage while firing from the hip with this weapon, we get extra reload speed, handling, and movement speed. I really love this one because hit firing with a grenade launcher is usually what you do, so if you do that, you're always going to have that extra reload speed and handling. So I would definitely recommend Pets Balance Stock. Now let's move on to the main part of the video, the perks. We're going to be starting off with the barrels and working our way towards the trade perks. So let's get started. So first one for the barrels, this is what we have. We have volatile launch, confined launch, counter mass, hard launch, linear compensator, quick launch, and smart drift control. Now for the barrel right here, we have a couple of different options, but it kind of depends what you want to do with the grenade launcher. If you want to do damage, then you're looking for velocity, so you want something like hard launch or quick launch and if you're looking to use this weapon as more as an ad clearing weapon then volatile launch is the barrel that you want to look for now for the magazine we're going to have disorienting grenades proximity nades spike nades high velocity rounds and implosion rounds the options here are going to be disorienting for the utility for being able to blind things blinding grenades are still super strong in any end game activities so you want your grenade launcher mostly for utility in the end game you want disorienting, if you want it for damage, you definitely want to go for spike nades. High velocity rounds are also going to be good if you're going for incandescent on this weapon. So if you want to just add clear with this weapon with incandescent, then probably go high velocity rounds. So those are the main ones that you can use for your magazine slot. And now let's move on to some of those beautiful trade perks. So these are the options that we have for the first perk. We have MB Assassin, Danger Zone, and Light in Action. Stats for all, Reconstruction, and Grave Robber. And let's start with Reconstruction because it's one of the new perks that wasn't able to roll on this weapon before. Reconstruction is going to be amazing on this weapon, especially you want this weapon for weapon swaps. Then Reconstruction is going to be great. You just got to make sure that you enhance it. Reconstruction is pretty much going to be like the best perk on this slot, I think. Uh, it works whenever you're using this weapon for damage, whenever you're using it for the utility, for the blinding nades. For any situation, Reconstruction is going to be pretty good, especially since it doesn't just auto-reload the magazine, but also overflow it, without having to do anything else. Similar to the construction is MB Assassin, just that you do have to put in a bit of effort with the MBS. You do got to get some kills to overflow the magazine. You can overflow it to 3, so more than Reconstruction, but it's not something that's going to happen just naturally. You are going to have to build it up. So because of that, I think Reconstruction just kind of works better on this weapon. I don't think MBS is as good as Reconstruction. And lastly, in Light and Action will give you extra reload speed, 
whenever you do some damage with this weapon. So it's going to work very well, specifically with one furl and incandescent. So you want to have your weapon out a little more, not just for the utility or for damage swaps, then that's when you want to go with in light and action. But yeah, definitely in light and action, uh, reconstruction or envious are all going to be great. But I think the best perk in the slot is definitely Reconstruction. It is going to make this weapon so good for the utility, for the damage swaps. It's just going to be a good weapon with Reconstruction. For the second perk, we have Incandescent, One for All, Surrounded, Collective Action, Bolt Weapon, and lastly, Bait and Switch. I think the best ones for this slot is going to be Incandescent, One for All, as well as Bolt Weapon. And let's start off with Bolt Weapon. Bolt Weapon is going to give you 15% more damage against mini bosses, bosses, or vehicles. Bolt Weapon is going to be pretty good in any situation, but especially if you want it for your damage swaps. Uh, this will work very well since you're always going to be doing extra damage. Now, this weapon can also roll with Bait and Switch, meaning that you get a 30% damage increase. It's really just going to come down to the ease of use. Do you want to just fire and forget, like Bolt Weapon lets you do, and always have that extra damage? Or do you want to keep track of bait and switch for that bigger damage boost? Now if you're looking to use this weapon more against ads, then you have some pretty good choices. You have one for all, and you also have an incandescent. Incandescent is going to give us a bit of extra ad clear, and it also is going to work very well with solar builds. Well, one for all is just going to make it so you can kill things more effectively with that 35% damage increase. And since this is a grenade launcher, just fire into a group of enemies, procs that one throw so it's going to be really easy to get that one throw going and have that extra damage but any of those four perks i think are going to be really good on this weapon this second column is just stacked with good perks it just kind of depends what you want to do with the weapon but you have some just really good solid choices even the other perks collective action and surrounded are not even half bad perks they're just not as good as the other ones and now let's take a look at some of the god rolls that I will go for on this weapon. So this is going to be the first god roll right here. Hard launch, plus spike nades, reconstruction, and both weapon. This is the one that you want to go for if you're planning to do some boss damage with your grenade launcher. Now we're looking to use this for add clear. Then we have this roll right here. Confined launch, high velocity rounds, with it light in action, and lastly with incandescent or one for one. This is going to be the roll that you use if you want to use add clear with this weapon. Now if utility is what you're looking for, then you're looking for disorienting grenades plus reconstruction. The last perk is not really going to matter, but you can make it something like Borko weapon. But the main thing that you're definitely looking for here is reconstruction with the disorienting grenades combo. That will make it so your weapon is always loaded for whenever you need to blind something. So those right there will be my go-to god rules and the rules I'm going to be looking for. Let me know in the comments below what role are you going to be looking for for your god rule on this weapon. Or are you not even going to grind this weapon or even try to get a good one? Do you maybe already have a good one that you like from the last time it was here? Let me know that in the comments below as well. And now let's talk a little bit about the weapon. I actually really like this weapon. I feel that it's definitely much better now than it used to be before. So if you avoid it before because I had some pretty bad perks, then you don't have to keep avoiding it. I think a big change that definitely helped this weapon out was the introduction of Reconstruction. Before not having any sort of auto loading perk really hurt the weapon, but that's just such a game changer. With Reconstruction, I think this is definitely going to be a top tier weapon that people are definitely going to want. And it's the reason that I kind of went in yesterday into the GM and grinded this thing, just because I saw that I had Reconstruction. That, that's really the only reason. I pretty much had an ad clear role before and that's the only reason why I use this weapon used for ad clear but I could definitely see myself using it a lot more with reconstruction. Reconstruction by itself is just such a game changer that them putting just that perk on this weapon made it a whole lot better. But what do you guys think about this grenade launcher? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you going to be going for one this week? Are you going to be grinding this weapon this week for a certain role? Let me know that in the comments below. Uh, let me know your god rule, let me know just what you think of the weapon, anything that you want to tell me about the weapon, just put it down in the comments below. But I think with that we're going to wrap up today's video. Overall, I really like the weapon, and I think that you should give it a try again, if you haven't tried it anymore. But anyways, thank you all for stopping by today and watching today's video. The support on the videos this 
last month just the whole month has been amazing so thank you all i can't thank you enough hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time peace